All the parts is a raw material used at the work table in order to produce a basic planting kit and a copper loudspeaker. While at the assembly station you will need it for the processor, tailoring machine level 1 and the Air 47 mobile suit. The easier way to obtain them is by visiting the bottom right side from your workshop where you need to enter inside the Ufala salvage shop. Here you will be able to buy up to two old parts each day for a price of 40 gold each. If you don't want to use your gold, craft a stone pick hammer. Then on the right side from the Eufala salvage shop, entry inside the salvage area. Here you will find some mixing junk piles you can mine down now. Doing so has a chance to reward you with a mechanical scrap. Next, you have to place them inside your recycler and you have a higher chance to obtain some old parts this way. Progressing in the mine storyline, the mixed junk pile in the Ufala salvage will be improved over time and therefore you will be able to obtain bigger amounts of mechanical scraps. Also, sometimes it will spawn even a mechanical junk pile directly that will yield even more mechanical scrap compared to the mechanical junk pile. From the Ufala shop you also will be able to buy up to 10 mechanical scraps each day for a price of 31 gold each. While after repairing the hydrogel for a mine quest around the Ufala salvage you will notice some new structures called hyper sleep chambers that also will reward you with a decent amount of mechanical scraps. For the next farming method you have to progress in the storyline until you will repair a crane lift that will allow you to access the ancient ruins. Inside those, by using the treasure detector, you will be able to find some treasure locations. By mining the terrain, blocking the passage toward the location, often you will find the old parts as well. Sometimes instead you will receive some toolboxes. Opening the basic and the advanced one will have a high chance to give you some old parts. For the most efficient way, you have to progress in the mine storyline until you will unlock the Bridge Hazardous Ruins located in the bottom left corner of the Sandrock City. In fact, in this dungeon you will find a lot of robots you will be able to defeat. All of them has a good chance to drop you some old parts. Also, in this location you will find several white treasure chests. The important part is that after you will loot them, don't forget to mine them down. This is because destroying this chest will always reward you with the one old part. These white chests are also found in secret ruins and the quest dungeons. For a passive way, you have to progress in the storyline until in front of the Ufala salvage shop you will find the Rocky standing with some other NPCs in front of him. Approaching this location will start a quest you have to complete. The next day after you will do so, visit the Ufala salvage shop. On top of the desk in the center you will be able now to interact with a book. This will allow you to access the Ufala salvage delivery. By using the confirm button you will start the contract. Doing so, each day near the mailbox you will find a crate you can interact with that will reward you with a huge amount of scraps including the mechanical scraps you need. If you want even more, go back to the Ufala salvage shop and interact again with the book. Now you'll be able to upgrade your contract by paying more gold that will result in giving you more resources each day.